What if there was a better low carb treat than these new low carb ice creams? Would you try it? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another short uh, low carb uh, recipe vlog. And this is gonna be quick. Um, we've been going on and on about the sweets in, uh, in people's lives. We, we're sort of on the, on the fence about it and we think that eating anything sweet or, or even artificially sweet or even naturally sweet like fruit or berries, we're on the, on the verge of pretty much giving it all up. But uh, we've had this year, we've you know, experiment with these low carb ice creams with success, I guess you could say. We haven't gained weight, we haven't eaten out of control, but I'm not really liking the, uh, the low carb ice creams because you, you, you still can't quite control yourself. So I came up with a, a little bit of a recipe here. I'm like, you know, I have this ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese is pretty, uh, pretty tasty, even just plain. Um, if you need a little satiation, just get a little, uh, food in your gut, so to say. Uh, but so the other day I was experimenting, I just threw a, a spoonful of unsweetened cocoa, uh, which is pretty much zero carb, very low carb, and I put some of the, this natural sweetener, it's Swerve, it's called, it's erythritol, and I, I did the powdered sugar version. And I mixed it up and it tasted like, and I experimented a few times, and it tasted like, sort of like a, ice cream slash maybe a soft uh, cheesecake filling. Uh, it was it was really um, actually quite satisfying. It wasn't as, I'd say, yummy as like some of these low carb ice creams that we've tried. However, I think it fit the bill. Like say you just want a, just a quick bite. So here's what you do. You just scoop some, some uh, Ricotta cheese in a bowl. You know, you can you can follow a recipe and weigh it and do like eight ounces or whatever. Whatever, it, you don't have to do it. Just experiment with it. That's what we did. So you throw a few scoops into a bowl, take a heaping spoonful of cocoa, another heaping spoonful of this Swerve stuff. And I noticed that the Swerve stuff, you sort of can't go too light on or it's not really gonna have that, that perfect sweet taste. Again, I'm, I'm totally on the fence about this. I don't think anybody should be eating anything sweet. But if you want to try it out, this is something fun. You mix it up, and then you have this, like, it looks almost like poop, like nasty dog poop. But this is, look, uh, or chocolate ice cream, whatever. I don't understand why this thing goes in and out focused. It's supposed to stay focused. Next video, I'm going to adjust the focusing uh, range. I think I have to make it focus on the whole channel, not just the center here. I don't know, whatever. So you mix it up, and the good thing about this, and the best thing about it is that it, I think it satiates you more than ice cream. I find myself that you, you always want that next bite of ice cream. I guess you, you sort of try to stop and you go a little bit over your, your uh, what do you call it, your line in the sand. But with the, this chocolate ricotta cheese that I made, I found that I can eat like two or three bites and it sort of fills you up. And that kind of, um, is part of the purpose of eating is to fill you up. So give this a shot and let me know what you think. If you see this video, uh, we're buried deep uh, in, in the search results. No matter what we do, what keywords, hashtags, no one finds us online. I think I have to kind of market myself, but that's it. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next video.